This is your quick inner thigh burn. We are going to target those inner thighs to sculpt and tone your beautiful legs. No equipment is needed at all. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to support all of these videos so I can keep creating more workouts for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We've got 12 exercises. I'm gonna show you the first one. We're gonna do it for 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we're gonna start here laying down on our backs, palms pressed down. You're gonna crisscross, open, crisscross, open, just like that, okay? So go ahead and join me. Now for our first exercise, let's go. So crisscross, open, and you're always welcome to add ankle weights on right here. I love doing that just to, you know, get a little bit deeper, more challenge. But this on its own is pretty challenging. So right now I want you to focus on straightening those legs, really pointing the toes, and that's where you're gonna get a lot of that engagement through the whole leg. Okay, next exercise, you're gonna just tuck your chin in towards your chest and you're gonna take the legs, keep that crisscrossing motion all the way down and all the way up. So yes, we are gonna get a little core work in here. So crisscross, crisscross. So make sure that the inner thighs are pointing up. So my legs are in an external rotation and I'm, whoo, <laughs> that was a lot of water back there. All right, hopefully we don't get wet. Crisscross, crisscross, point those toes. Try to bring the heel so that you're displaying the heel up towards the sky. Good. So lay onto your side and we're going to lift the top leg up, have the other one come meet it, lower both legs down. So top leg comes up, meet it, lower down. Up, together. So right here, sometimes what I see is the toes kind of go like this. Okay, that's a little cheat right there. Try to have the heels meet at the top like that. All right. So we just did activate that core, so I want you to keep working it, even right here as we're laying to the side. Keep those ribs pulled in, lengthen out through the core. Good. Feel that inner thigh working. Okay, so now we're gonna stay here. We're gonna switch the legs, little scissors on our sides, really thinking about keeping the legs as straight as possible. Again, activating that core, pointing through the toes. Good, reach, reach, reach a lot of balance here. And my goal for you is so that you know how to activate those inner thighs in moves like this, right? So the focus is your inner thigh right now. Okay, from here we're gonna go into an oblique twist. You're gonna cross the leg so the left leg is on top of the right. Come all the way up, reach over the leg, and then you're gonna lower all the way down. So it's a little tricky balancing, but squeeze the legs all the way up at the top, and then lower all the way down right here, good. I want you to really focus right here. Squeeze those legs together. You've got it.
Okay. Whew. Let's switch over to the other side. Thinking about now that other leg as you lift, squeeze together and lower. Lift, squeeze together, lower. So focus on that bottom inner thigh right there, but also use that core. Everything is connected. So I want you to imagine the inner thigh connecting all the way up into your belly button. Good. Okay, let's do our scissors. So really point the toes, really extend through the whole leg. Make that nice, beautiful line as we switch, switch, switch. Good. Hope you're feeling that inner thigh. I definitely am. So now we're gonna cross remember the right leg on top of the left, and you're gonna reach up over the shin and then reach all the way down, all the way to this nice side position. So it does take a little bit of coordination to kind of figure out where to put your body, right? And that's what I want you to work on. Squeeze those inner thighs, even when they're here on the down. I can feel that inner thigh working here. Good. No, no bruises and scars, no Imagine yourself as a beautiful mermaid, just sunning on the rocks, and your fin is just lifting and lowering in the sun. Let's move on to our next exercise. We're gonna go into a low lunge to a back half split. So you might be thinking, is this inner thighs? Yes, it is. So I want you to think about squeezing the inner thighs together as you balance between this position, your half splits to your low lunge, right? So the focus is here, scissoring those legs together. It takes a ton of inner thigh work. And then you're also, of course, using your core and then engaging that hamstring. So this is a great way to mobilize and stretch your hips and legs while also strengthening them. breather. Let's go to the other side. I definitely feel that in my inner thighs. Take a break and let's go. Just be careful here that the ribs don't splay out. So keep those ribs in. We've done a lot of core work. So keep all of that activation here, even as you fold forward or push forward, and then squeeze, magnetize the hips towards each other.
last two exercises here. We're gonna lay down and you're going to click those heels together. So in a nice turnout position, click the heels in, in, in. Good, so your head can just stay down towards your fore or your hands. So I'm adding a little cross so they cross underneath each other, just crisscross, crisscross. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to add the arms in and we're going to reach everything up and lower down. Okay, try to keep those heels together the whole time. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. done let's take a nice little stretch here so you're gonna bring the feet together Ooh, those last couple exercises really get those inner thighs so just take a nice stretch right here breathing in through the nose and make sure you comment down below so we can chat let me know how you like this workout and what else you want to see from me and make sure to subscribe to my channel share my channel with a friend and I'll see you next time bye